Hi there, uh, Scott here again. Uh, I've got a question from a student about pseudocode and flowcharts. So, it, just a relatively simple question uh, we can do as an example. So if we want to create a program that takes as input the dimensions of a box and then outputs the volume, so asks a user, like maybe a factory worker, or to input the dimensions of a box, and then it prints out the volume, it calculates the volume, so we can write that in pseudocode. It's going to start, and then it's going to ask the user to input the length, then width, then height. And then it's going to calculate. It's going to take those three and multiply them, because the volume is the product of the three. So it multiplies those three, and then it's going to take that and print it out, or output it. And that's it. So then it's going to end. And then we can write that in a flowchart. So instead of listing out step by step in writing, which we could then translate, we could translate the writing into, say, Python or another language, but uh, we can also represent it in a flowchart. So what we're going to do is we're going to draw circles for each step and then arrows between them to indicate the direction. So we're starting with one, and then we input the length. Then three, we input the width, or ask the user for that. Then we ask them to input the height. And then in step five, it's multiplying the length time with times height. And then it's going to output the result, and end. And that's the flowchart. So it can get more complicated than that, but that's the basics. Uh, hope that makes sense. Uh, let me know if you have any questions. Uh, otherwise, have a great day.